Hey everybody, Dan here of TrendSpider, and in this video I'm going to show you two new indicators that we've added to the platform that are kind of unique and very interesting. Keep in mind as I show you these that these are uh, indicators that we consider to be experimental, right? So uh, these are not things that you can find in other platforms. They're not things that are really out there and that people use. Um, but that aside, we think they add some interesting value and a unique perspective that uh, uh, you, know, you can't get in any other way. So you probably know that in TrendSpider, when you right click on a candle, you can anchor a volume weighted average price there, right? We've all done this a million times. You anchor a view app and it plops it on your screen. What we've added are two new anchored indicators, uh, bringing the total of indicators that you can anchor in TrendSpider to four, right? Because if you count the anchored view app, anchored volume by price, that's two, and then we just added two more. Um, so these two are interesting, and I'm going to show you how they work. Uh, and keep in mind, uh, these are experimental, right? So we don't know exactly how useful they are. Um, we're just throwing them out there and seeing if you can find some edge with them. We hope that you can. Um, they do provide a perspective that you can't get in any other way, and we think that's very useful and uh, uh, potentially powerful. So let's dive into that. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on a candle, just like as if I were to drop an anchored VWAP at that point. You'll notice that the menu now has two new options, right? Create Anchored On Balance Volume, or OBV, and Create Anchored AD Line, or Accumulation Distribution Line, right? These weren't there yesterday, they're there now. Uh, and these are the two new indicators that we've added. So I'm going to pick one of them, and I'm going to focus on just one of them during this uh, video just to keep it short. But keep in mind, they both work exactly the same. So um, depending on your preference, if you prefer using an AD line or an unbalanced OBV line, right, um, you can choose which calculation to use, but the method of operating it and using it is exactly the same. So I'm going to add the uh, AD line here, and I added it to this low on uh, March of 20. 20 looks like a COVID low, right? And you can see that this is showing me the AD line, but it's starting the measurement from this point in time, right? Because keep in mind, this uh, indicator, the AD line, is an aggregate or cumulative indicator. It collects data over uh, a period of time, but it doesn't cycle that data like most indicators that have a simple look back factor. The data just accumulates in the indicator and becomes part of its math. Right. That's different than like an RSI, which usually has a 14 period look back window. That's like a rolling 14 candles that it's looking at. Whereas here there is no roll, right? It just collects and accumulates the data over time, right? And then does math to that data. So what that means is if you anchor at different points in time, you get a different uh, uh, total aggregate data set, right? You'll notice I anchored another one, this time at this high. Right, and you can see that if you measure from the COVID lows, there's been nothing but accumulation, right? But if you measure it from this consolidation high up here, after which it's really struggled and just consolidated and gone really nowhere, just horizontal, right? You can see the periods during that time, since that moment, where there has been distribution or accumulation according to the AD line indicator. So that's basically how this works, right? You can drop an anchor point for a lower indicator uh, currently the OBV and AD line, and it will calculate that indicator from that period forward. It's exactly the same as if when you drop an anchored view app on a particular indicator or when you add volume profile to your chart and, um, you know, adjust its anchor point as well, right, which you can, you know, do, do by moving the line around on that particular one. So that's really cool, and um, we thought it was an interesting way to look at these indicators because of their cumulative nature. But that's not the uh, most powerful thing about it. The most powerful thing about this, in our opinion, is coupling the ability to anchor these indicators, which essentially resets them, uh, at a rolling period of time, right? And what this gives you is a rolling anchored AD line, right? So what I'm going to do is I went, clicked on the three dots next to the indicator to open its preferences. And now I'm going to change the anchor to from date, which is what happens when you manually drop it on a particular date, I'm going to change that to a rolling time period, like month to date. Month to date will measure the start of each month to the end of the month, or if you're in a current month, just from the start of this month to the point in the month that you are now. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm not going to click Apply yet. I'm going to check Continuous, and I'm going to check Anchors, right? I'm going to click Apply. And now you have the uh, AD line being reset at the start of each month, right? It creates a new type of indicator that you have a tremendous amount of control over. Because you don't have to just reset it month to date. You can do week to date. You can do daily, right? You can do it in a variety of different ways, 
right? And that will give you the accumulation distribution or the OBD profile for a particular period of time. It's really great at spotting uh, when, when there's distribution and accumulation periods, right? And this is a powerful way to slice and dice it that um, you can't really do in any other way. Um, of course, you can do longer aggregation periods, so you can aggregate uh, quarterly, you can aggregate uh, monthly, and you can also do technical anchoring, right? Um, technical anchoring is uh, something that works differently depending on the type of anchoring you select. If you select the highest high or highest or lowest low or highest volume one, then it's only going to anchor it once at the most recent point that matches that condition. But if you select anchoring on blue raindrops or a recent gap or a time period, you'll have this continuous checkbox, right? So if you put this on this chart and you anchor it at the most recent blue dojis and you flip to a raindrop chart, you'll see that it is being re-anchored when the uh, raindrop candle pattern that's showing up is a blue doji, right? And that's something that's really cool about these indicators. Now, uh, one last thing about it, right, because a lot of people point this out, this, um, the anchors that show up are kind of annoying. I like to have them on there. You don't have to have them on there. You can just uncheck that. And then obviously you can customize the colors of these indicators as well if you want it to look and feel a little bit differently. We don't stop there. Uh, we also extended these indicators in their anchored and automated uh, uh, form into our scanner. So you can utilize uh, anchored accumulation and distribution and gaps at blue dojis at time-based uh, aggregation periods in your scans. Um, they also work in the back tester, so you can back test these strategies revolving around or including these indicators in them. And they also work in multi-factor alerts. So hopefully you find it interesting. I know it's experimental. Uh, nobody asked for this, but we thought it was possible and could potentially have some edge. So we built it for you guys. Please play with it. Let us know what you think. And if there's any other indicators that you think would be great uh, if used in an uh, anchored way, please do let us know. Um, we are looking to expand our anchoring uh, capabilities to other indicators and are always open to new ideas. So anyways, thank you again for watching and for being a customer and for using the product and for all the love and support. And until uh, next time.